theory, Stone Skin is so good, it can work on level 50 champions. Let's test it. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here, and we're talking Stone Skin today because I had a crazy idea this morning that may or may not be actually crazy. We get this new Stone Skin set every week from the Hydra clan boss. Number one, you should be fighting Hydra. I don't care how much damage you do, you need to fight the Hydra. The lowest chest is only 1.6 million on normal. 1.6. Lowest chest. I guarantee you with three teams, you can get 1.6 million, even as an early or mid-game player. I, I have to believe that that's true, okay? However, this gear from Hydra is incredibly good. It's incredibly good, both sets. So I've, I've already done my keys on Hydra for the week. Normal was great. Hard was a disaster. I've spoken about this before. I'm looking forward to reset tomorrow so that um, I can test out some new things, okay? If that goes well, I will share it with you. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to test a level 50 champion, which is Cardinal here, and we are going to put her against some legit gold 4 teams, all right? So why why Cardinal, okay? It's really because of this Revive. Revives all dead allies, heals them by 25%, and boosts their turn meter to max. So what this does is it forces you right after the Revive to get turns on all of your Revived Champions immediately, okay? And that's what makes her so amazing. She's crazy good in Faction Wars. Like, I, I beat Faction Wars for people with Cardinal and, like, a bunch of level 50s in not good gear. So it's definitely possible with Cardinal to do some pretty amazing things in this game. Number two, I just built out Cleopteryx, and uh, I'm going to be testing her out in another video later today. So if that interests you, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and uh, check back later if you're already a subscriber. Thank you so much for joining the Jedi Academy and coming along on this journey with me. Um, but I will be testing her out later because everybody gets her. I, I feel like it's we need a guide on her. Um, Cardinal's other abilities are good. They're perfectly fine. We have uh, a heal and an increased defense single target, and then we have a poison under A1. We don't really care about any of that. The only thing we care about is this revive. I'm not going to put any masteries on her. I'm not going to book her. The only thing that we are going to do is we are going to put her in stone skin. So actually, we can just go ahead and remove this gear uh i'll probably put this back on some random people like this is all perfectly serviceable gear still uh what what ring do we have here we have hp with attack not great we have defense with resistance not great uh i'm just gonna leave that for now um because i want to do this <laughs> i, I want to test the the capabilities of this set, because if my theory is correct, then we are in for an absolute treat here. So I'm pretty sure what we want is speed on here. And I don't know when they added this to the game. When did they add this to the game on every set and you could just do this? I figured that out the other day. I am not sure how long that's been in the game, but I'm down for it. Um, so let's go do the fitting room. Resistance. I think we just want the HP. Uh, speed and HP is great. Speed and HP, just speed. I don't really want the crit rate. And then, okay, we just want six piece stone skin. So we're just going to put on whatever random crap stone skin gear that i have uh that is tolerable 
Uh, I did sell some of the bad, like the terrible stone skin. All bad substats, flat stats, etc. But, uh, okay, nice double speed roll there. That's usable. I wish it would have hit HP instead of attack. I think we will steal Lydia's gloves. And we don't have a helmet. So let's go with this and this. And we want the six piece, I believe. We want the six piece. And here's why. Okay, so with stone skin, you get this 50% chance to block all removal or steals of the buffs. And you get the 15% defense as well. So I I just I think that the, that it's great. Um I don't think we want HP. I think that we're wanting the speed. And then, what's the best helmet that I have here? We don't have one with speed, so I'm guessing it's this one? I don't know. Let's see Let's see what this do. Maybe we'll double hit HP and then roll speed. Give me one more for the video. There we go. And then roll speed. Shot call. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Guys, just get me on your account, and I will hook you up as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and hit equip here, and then we'll remember to put Lydia's gear back on. What is special about this? Literally nothing, okay? All right, so we do have defense percent and HP percent. But look at the total stats, okay? 36,000 health, 2,200 defense, 185 speed. There is nothing good about this gear. It's just level 12 and level 16 gear, and she is level 50. Okay, who are we going to use with her? Well, number one, we're going to use Madam Saris. And uh, I stole her ring yesterday, so let's put a different ring on her. What is this? Perfectly fine. Um, so, Madam Saris, the reason why is because she's going to strip their buffs and put decreased defense. Okay, so... In your go second teams, any go second strategy that you want to work on, I think that's where your Madam Saris belongs. They do all these things, they put up all these buffs, and then you need to strip them in order to do the damage that you want to do. Okay. Uh, next, we are going to put a good damage dealer in here. Um... What is Saris's speed is 226. I think I'm just going to put Herndig. He's my best damage dealer. He seems pretty good to get extra turns and stuff. So we're going to just put him in there. And then the last champion we're going to put in there is Annie. Okay. And the only reason I'm putting Annie in there is because number one, she's in pretty good gear of mine. Number two, um, this is like the highest attack value of any champion on my account. So like, so this is pretty dang good gear. But the reason why I'm putting her in there is because she pairs really well with uh, Cardinal, right? She pairs really well with Cardinal. Another champion that could go in this spot would be Nodgar or literally any single target damage dealer. Like, uh, you know, I have Turvold. He would be fine there. Um... But I don't really have good single target damage dealers. I guess you could put a second AoE damage dealer. But the whole point is to pick off the people who are left over, you know. Because we're going to be running this against uh, some serious teams here. So let's go ahead over to the arena. This is a great example of a tanky team. But are they going to actually kill us? I don't think so. We want to go against teams that are going to kill us. Not just straight tank teams. And we don't want to go against people that are going to block revive. That's going to be a disaster. Okay, this could be an option here. We are going to have a possibility that Saris will strip us. Another good option would be this blender team. Let's start here with the blender. All right, so in this team... We are going to put in here, where are you? You're level 50, Cardinal. We are going to put the lead as Annie, attack in all battles. We are going to put Saris and 
Herndig. Attack in all battles, 33. Attack in arena battles, 35. All right, it's settled. Herndig will be the lead. Um, okay, so we don't want to start on auto. Let's just do our own thing here. So what's going to happen here is we're going to die. And the question is, is Cardinal going to survive with this stone skin buff? That's a yes. Okay, so then what happened there? That would be raid crashing. Um, we lost so hard that we crashed the game. <laughs> we lost so hard we crashed the game. Let me log back in here, and I'm going to think about why this has happened to us. Um... I don't know. I I honestly I honestly don't know. It's like Senatia removed the buff, but Senatia doesn't do that. Okay, let's come back in here. She did her A2. Maybe we just didn't block the damage. So if that's true then cardinal may need masteries and or cardinal might need more speed okay so let's try it against a different team here Ooh, get some off stream follows thank you so much for that okay we got stripped and then we died okay so it's not a hundred percent whether we're gonna get stripped or not it's 50 percent so we probably still want to avoid that. So then, are there viable teams to fight against? I mean, I'm sure that there are. Like this one? Yeah, like this one. Now, Lix could lock us out. I don't know. Let's try this team. Okay, so far we're 0 for 2. This is with level 50 Cardinal, though. Okay. He's still alive. Uh, let's go ahead and s strip, I think. Okay, she's still alive. She survived the licks and the, 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 uh, Candrophon and blocked the turn meter decrease. What is with this? Okay, I know we lost the first two, but look here. She's going to get a turn and lay some damage on Kandrafon. Now she's going to go kill Arbiter. And now she's going to go here. And then Herndig is going to kill everybody. Look at that, guys. Look at that. I was right. So think about if we six-star her. Think about if we six-star her. Okay, let's try against this team. This team is pretty crazy. Uh, with very tanky Duchess, we have freaking Mashald could strip us here. Let's see who he targets. No, he goes for the weakest link. Okay, Astralon did not kill everyone, nor did Mashald. Okay, Mashald's about to kill everyone. I am going to put increased defense on myself. And then, oh no, the stone skin died. Now we're dead. All right, well, let's try that again, and let's let's learn from our mistakes. Okay, now, um, if you are earlier in the game than gold four, I think that this is the strategy that you need here. I'm pretty sure you can do any reviver. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, perfect. Everyone died. Okay, good job, other guys. <coughs> Excuse me. If you are trying to get to gold four, I honestly think that this could be a viable strategy. <coughs> um, Do we want to do this instead? She's under a shield buff. Or do we want to do this? The tiger. Uh, so she's going to get that. 
I think we want this one. Let's test it. Okay. I, I think her A3 would have killed there. But let's go ahead and strip. And then let's hit with Herndig. All right. Now are we dead? Ooh. <clears throat> I, I'm su surprised. There's not that much damage on this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's fine. You're going to die anyway. I love this team, guys. I absolutely love this team. All right. So can we fight this team against Saris teams? We can. We definitely can. The thing is, it's 50%, so you are risking it, right? See, we got stripped there, and then we died. But, okay, we're going to just fight this uh, and see. We're going to just go in back in here again. Um, obviously, Saris is not going to be great because you're risking the, the buff strip. See, there we did not get stripped. And now we can revive... But it is risky. It is risky. Oh no, counterattack. Oof. I think that's still okay. Uh, see, Saris would need to be faster here, typically. I think we want to do this. And then this. Okay, and now we're in trouble because she died, little Annie, before she got her other attack. Um, Herndig, I think, would be, you know... Ooh, we skipped our turn. I mean, look how tanky she is, even with just, like, crappy stone skin gear. I know it's not the worst, but it's not the best. And then, then Ethos is going to kill us here. So, I think we would have won there if Herndig didn't skip over. So, let's actually, let's try this team again. And instead of Herndig, let's try... I don't really have another good damage dealer. Um, I guess we could try him. He's not bad. Oh, Magnar. We could put Magnar in here. Oh, but Magnar is not going to die that well. Yeah, I don't like Magnar for this team. Let, let's go with uh let's go with Lord Shazar. We could even put a speed in or a speed lead here. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try this. Now, it might be better to just have the attack, right? Okay, no strip here. Still perfectly fine. No damage taken. Are you going to kill Ethos? No. Are you serious right now? I just thought, like, she didn't crit. I, I literally just thought she didn't crit. And then increase attack. And then bombs away. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. This team is so much fun. This team is so much fun. Um, I wonder if we can beat a crazy team like this. Let's go ahead and put Lydia in. In place. Will that work? To block the revive on Tormin? Let's try. Let's try. Lydia is missing gear, remember. Okay, so she does not have her complete gear on. Uh, I think that that's okay. But uh, I actually, as you saw, I had Lydia in stone skin. All right. So let's revive here. Oh, and she got frozen. Um, okay, like we gotta go anyway. We gotta go anyway. And we didn't get any bombs placed? Oh, man. Okay, well, that's one that we'd have to work on, I think. But look, Cardinal's still alive at full health! Level 50, no masteries, no books! Okay, this is ridiculous. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do one more fight, and then we'll wrap up the video. Please stay away from Foley, and stay away from Lydia. They are not going to do well for you. Okay, let's do this team here. And we want to go... Oh, no, 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 no. We want to go back to our team, but I think we I think we want to do this with Little Miss Annie as the lead because I don't think we care about the speed. Um, but you know, this is when you're trying out a new strategy, you're testing it, right? So you're not always gonna know exactly the right things. How did Lord Jassar not die? Weak hit. Oh, and she still survived. Oh, but now she got provoked. I don't know about this one. I think we're dead. Uh, you're telling me there's a chance. What is up with Lord Shazar? Does he not have, like, accuracy on him at all? Give her a turn. Give her a turn. Decrease the turn meter. Oh, yes. Let's go. Okay. Okay, Annie it needs to kill Arbiter. Boom, okay. Now we're going to strip. And then I think we're going to kill him so he doesn't kill us. But it doesn't reset the cooldowns, so let's heal... Let's heal Shazar, I guess. I don't know what the right thing to do here is. We're going to get somebody revived here by... Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. Our own... Yeah, I think we have to attack her. All right. I can't believe we're still alive. I literally can't believe we're still alive. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, she's dead, but now... Oh, Arbiter already used her revive. Sheesh. Drekstar's pretty slow. Okay, everybody's provoked. Decrease attack is crap. Now there's the revive. Okay, now she's dead. We still have our two damage dealers. Okay, she's getting an extra turn. Uh, what do we want to do with our extra turn? Kill Kandrafon. Okay. It's so unreasonable that we're even alive right now. Alright, he's got his bombs back. If we can land these, we're gonna win. Oh my goodness! That is the perfect way to end this video. Okay, this is ridiculous. Um, go look in your vault, see if you have a cardinal, and... Put whatever stone skin you have on her right now. Let's revisit the crappy build. This is not even a good build. This is not even a good build. This is meta changing. Okay? This is meta changing. This is a level 50 cardinal. And here are her total stats. Not good. I mean, like, look at this gear. This is crap. My Great Hall is not doing anything. The faction, like, this is, this is ridiculous. I, I'm going to start recommending this strategy to literally everyone. And so we're going to need to adapt. If you have bomb champions, you're going to need to bring them in. I'm going to start working on an, a bomb champion team because, holy crap, stone skin legit confirmed. Mind blown. I'm going to go upload this immediately. Leave me your feedback in the comments below. And uh, where else can we use stone skin? We need to use this in way more areas of the game. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to the channel for more great content. See you guys in the next video.